Okay, so the SD card of my camera has gone a bit funny uh, while I was recording, seeing that it wasn't inserted, uh, but it was, but regardless, I've only cut open the tape on this box, so it, if the first part gets missing, uh, it's the 17th of June. I'm not using the ring light this time, because it's a fair, I'm doing this one actually in, uh, at half past 11 in the morning, so it's fairly bright, so yeah, hopefully it should look alright, but hey, there it is. Oh. No packaging. I was hoping for some packaging, but uh, yeah, there we go. So this is Rockwell. Uh, somebody's uh, watching me, featuring Michael Jackson. Mm. This is a hundred and forty gram vinyl, and it is very, very dusty. This one does definitely need a clean. Put it the right way. So this is the disco mix. And then on the other side, we've got the vocal mix. And this is the full uh, five-minute version of the song. The full, There is a full-minute version on a seven-inch single, which I do actually own. But uh, yeah, this is obviously a 12-inch single. And this is uh, the UK version. There's a US version, which I think is a 33 and a third um, RPM, where this is a 45, which has various other mixes of the song but this one was um, considerably cheaper this one I got for Fiverr so this one was uh, cheaper than those because uh, basically getting them imported from the US the cheapest I could find a decent condition one uh, would basically be £10 and when you're interested in the one song you're not really interested in the other mixes yeah there we go but anyway that's it for that and yeah Okay, it's the 23rd of June today, and uh, we've got a couple of vinyl records here, so... Luckily, uh, they have pull tabs, at least I think. Yep, yeah, they do. This one isn't plastic lined, so it's a bit of a nightmare to try and get in one go. E. Ah, now this, this I got from uh, Disogs, and it... No, I didn't. I got this one off eBay. <laughs> what am I talking about? This cost me, I think, about £55 total. And uh, it is used, but as you can see, the person who owned it beforehand uh, kept it in a sleeve. So they are probably a proper record collector. But this is the Urban Outfitters US exclusive. Kelly Clarkson's uh, Breakaway, which was... Uh, an Urban Outfitters exclusive which was limited to 1000 and I didn't know about it uh, until months after all of them had already gone. I think they sold out very quickly. But yeah, someone in the UK had this used and for this price I paid about £55. That's not a bad deal. Even if it is used, but it's pretty much in perfect condition. So that's nice. Could they give it an inner sleeve? No, they didn't. So yeah, this is a gold vinyl, and this one is the closest to actually being gold, because others that say like gold are more just basically yellow, but yeah, this one kind of has a, a nice sort of gold sort of sheen to it. It's quite nice. So yeah, that is, that is quite nice to finally uh, have. Pick it up off eBay. So I don't really have much else uh, to say about this. Urban Outfitters US does get uh, a fair few exclusives and this was obviously one of them. Oh, ooh, I think there's a download. Yeah, there is a download code. Um, I don't know whether that's being redeemed or not, uh, but there is a download code in there. I will see if it has been redeemed. Um, if not, then oh well, but yeah. So I mainly wanted this album for two tracks really. <laughs> Um, I wanted it for since you've been gone and because of you. I, I was basically, I was basically it. Um, but yeah, it's nice that they gave me a sleeve. Yeah, it's nice that, that they did that, and it came pretty quickly. I won this on Sunday. It was dispatched on Monday and came today on Wednesday. So yeah, couldn't really be happier. But it's uh, pretty good, damn good condition. So. Yeah, plus obviously since this was someone who lived in the UK, I didn't have to pay any bloody import fees 
on top of the already ridiculously expensive postage. Now this uh, was £15. The thing that's in here, plastic lined. Hello, the plastic lining has come off at the end. Oh no, where's this from again? Yeah, revived.com, who also have an eBay site. Um, who have also taped this, so I'm gonna have to grab scissors. I'm gonna have to grab scissors. Come on, there we go. There we go. So this I probably would have gotten a, a lot earlier. I just wasn't aware that it was available on vinyl. This is, how the hell am I meant to open this? It's got a pull tab, but it's all stuck down. How the hell am I meant to open this? It's got a pull tab, but look, look, look. They've stuck, they've stuck this bit down. This bit is stuck down, so the pull tab is essentially useless. I think I'm just going to have to cut it. I think I'm just going to have to cut it with the bloody scissors. Because I honestly don't think there's another way. What bloody idiot designed this to have a pull tab, but then stick everything down around the pull tab, so the pull tab is just ultimately useless. Anyway, a bit of cutting later. Okay, this is just booklets and advertising for revived.com, uh, which I've never ordered from. But I might do again, because they did have a few things on sale. And I bought this again through their eBay site, and the reason I did uh, is because obviously I knew eBay would obviously give me buyer's protection, but also I could use Quigco uh, to maybe get some money back on it. So, maybe, 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 maybe. Hey, there we go. They did package it well. So, this is Skillet. Or Skillet. Victorious, which um, at the time of recording is still currently their latest album, uh, it's a 2019 album. I would say my favourite track on this album is probably the last track, Back to Life. Oh, what was I going to say? Made in Canada. This was made in Canada, apparently. Okay. Good to know. So, uh, this cost me again £15 with free delivery, so a pretty good price, um, yeah. Now, what was I going to say about it? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Now, this is the standard version of the album. Um, on CD, you can get a deluxe version. I think there's two deluxe versions, actually. I think there's a 16-track version, and I think there's even a 20-track uh, version as well, but uh, they're just, uh, as far as I'm aware off the top of my head, I think they just include like remixes of the songs, I think. Cool. Let me get this out. E there we go. There we go. Let's have a look at the record. Might be 140 grams. It's a bit of dust on it already. There we go. So that's nice. That's nice. Um, I did want to get their album a week. Unfortunately, that came out on vinyl at least in 2015, and is currently out of print. So yeah, but I did find a guy on Discogs. Excuse me, in the US. Um, who said that they weren't shipping to the UK, at least at Sexo and Discogs, but I did message them, and I said, you know, would you be able to ship to the UK? And they said, yes. So, hopefully, I should hopefully get their album uh, a week. I did still pay through PayPal, so hopefully uh, that should arrive in the next few weeks. I will say the postage on that was more expensive than they wanted for the vinyl. Yeah, getting... 
getting stuff from America important is just more expensive uh, no digital code so that is unfortunate I do actually have a digital copy of this album already but yeah uh, there we go there we go happy days happy days okay so it's the 26th of June today and we've got this from Music Magpie which I can already feel is just gonna pack it so yeah hopefully it hasn't got damaged and I come on there it is so this is Robbie the Reindeer, the whole herd, which is basically means it's the entire trilogy. This was made, um, I think the first one of these came out, was it in the late 90s, 90, 98, 99? The second one came out, I think, in 2002, and then the third was, I think, 2007. But yeah, these were animated shorts that were released as part of comic relief just before Christmas uh, this cost me £2.41 on a Music Magpie's eBay site because if you order it from Music Magpie's site directly it's two ninety nine, but through their eBay site it's two forty one. again Music Magpie are a bit weird sometimes their eBay site is cheaper sometimes their own website is cheaper so yeah it just kind of depends it's free delivery on both sites, so it doesn't really matter what you order from. Yeah, the disc is a bit fingerprinty, but uh, hopefully it should work fine. So, yeah, nothing really else to say. I've only ever seen um, the first of these, and that was years ago. Yeah, I've only ever seen the first one of these. I do remember seeing the trailer for the third one. Uh, I might have seen the third one. I don't know, but yeah, I haven't. I've. I don't think I've ever seen the second one, and the third one I do remember seeing the trailer for. But yeah, I just literally, literally just spotted this uh, when I was looking. I just thought, ah, eh, why not? Why not? So yeah, that there, there we go. I guess. Um, what surprised me is this is still in print actually to this day actually you can still actually find brand new copies of it I think Amazon have it for a fiver so yeah it might still be in print or it might be going out of print I don't know but yeah there we go alright so it's the 27th of uh, June today and I got this so let's open it up now this came from the US this cost me uh, £20 including the delivery so hopefully it's arrived alright it's in a very thin packet though cardboard should have reinforced it I think it came from the US I th pretty sure it did oh that's annoying the cardboard is stuck to the cellophane yeah the cardboard stuck to the cellophane oh well now it's got that's annoying. I was just going to cut the slit, uh, but oh well. So here it is anyway. Final space. <sighs> Come on. I just knocked the whole camera, and amazingly, it stayed in shot. God, the way they've done this is. Yeah. So this originally was exclusive to the uh, TBS uh, store, which um, was annoying because they only shipped within the US and possibly Canada. But uh, thankfully now other stores, at least in the US, are getting them. So I was able to get this imported for about uh, 20 quid, which isn't bad. Yeah, it has a very shiny foil finish. I will say there's only two tracks on here so as of yet uh, the full soundtrack has yet to be released on vinyl you can get it digitally though so this only includes two tracks which eh. but anyway oh it's got an inner sleeve wow 
I feel impressed almost. So it is just a uh, paper sleeve, but the fact that it has an inner sleeve, it's more than most 45s. Yeah, it's kind of a neon yellow colour, kind of like a highlighter yellow colour, but there we go. There we go, it's quite nice actually, quite nice. Interestingly, this section is flat. It's on 45s, they're supposed to be raised, but it's not. But yeah, there we go. Now, I know what some people are thinking oh, this is far too much for a 7 inch. And yeah, you're probably right. I mean, basically, the record itself, you know, was only. I think only came to about £8 and the delivery was £12 essentially so it's you know delivery from the US is always really expensive it's more expensive than Australia Australia the postage is actually not too bad but America the postage is very expensive but yeah overall very nice to have in my collection at last so yeah now all that needs to happen is uh, season 3 needs to get a blu-ray release but uh, yeah, and also the full soundtrack, but until then, there we go. Put it in a 7 inch sleeve to keep it nice and protected, so yay, happy days, happy days. Okay, so I'm recording this on the 7th of July, although this technically arrived on the 3rd of July. However, my mum is completely thick and completely blind apparently because uh, she got this package which had my name written in the biggest letters you could fucking think and uh, just decided to open it, saw that it wasn't hers and just tossed it on the fucking floor yeah luckily it doesn't seem to have gotten damaged uh, but yeah here it is so this is a Russian coca-cola branded uh, cassette so yeah, this is a compilation cassette, and uh, I mainly like it because of its uh, red colour, but also its track listing is uh, interesting as well. Gives us a, a better look there. So you can see certain tracks here, for example, there's Gorillaz uh, Dare. I think I'm just going to have a look at it properly. Jamiroquai feels just like it should remix. Okay, interesting. But uh, yeah, this cost me mm, about £6.50. Roughly, um, but yeah, there, there we go. There's not really much else to really say about this. I've, I just find it, uh, frankly, a bit more of an interesting one, uh, just because you know it's a Coca Cola branded uh, cassette. But anyway, something else uh, came in the post today, which is this. Um, unfortunately, the person has written addresses on both sides. Now, this is interesting because. I only won this on eBay yesterday, so this person posted it yesterday and it came today. So this is the Gremlins 1 and 2 Steelbook, yep. Now I'm not sure where this was released in, possibly the US, I don't know, the only reason I'm thinking possibly US is because it's got uh, no age rating on either side. I'm not sure where it was released. Les... Hmm. Well, maybe not the US, possibly can I don't know. It was released somewhere. Regardless, uh, I do actually already have Gremlins on Blu-ray because I have the 4K Blu-ray which includes both, but uh, Gremlins 2, the only uh, place you can still get a copy brand new today is HMV, as far as I'm aware at least officially in the UK but this uh, cost me I think it was like 750 maybe eight pound total and I can see the second disc has uh, fallen off so there we go there's Gremlins 2 and uh, yeah that's actually I don't know why this is so massive for two discs I honestly don't know why but it is absolutely massive for two discs, uh, for example, to give you an idea, there's a regular thickness DVD, which would be the same as a Blu-ray, and there's that. Yes, you can tell this was released in a different uh, time because God, you do not get steelbooks this thick anymore. 
yeah, this is this is massive for just two discs. But yeah, I basically wanted Gremlins 2 on Blu-ray, and this was actually uh, cheaper than uh, getting two on its own. So yeah, and it's a nice steelbook as well. It's, it's got nice embossed on it, so yeah. But anyway, there we go. Hopefully, hopefully someday they might do a 4K Blu-ray of Gremlins 2. Uh, we'll see, but you know, this will uh, keep me going in uh, me marathons because currently I didn't have a Gremlins 2 Blu-ray, I only had the DVD, so this should obviously be a massive boost. So, yeah, there we go. Alright, it's still the 7th of July and another package, and this is slightly warped. Uh, this has come from America, so. Hopefully it's in one piece. Uh, got some scissors here, so let's uh, get it open. See, see how it looks. Uh, the postage for this uh, was fairly high. Oh, this has gotten bent. This has gotten bent. This person has packaged it well, but this has gotten. This has been bent in the post. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. This is uh, Skillet Awake. Now this is a bit of an expensive bugger to find. This cost me, I think, about forty pound to get imported, and it is a used copy, but Skillet's in pretty good condition. But yeah, it's still got the original. So I think mm, maybe slightly bent. What I might do is try and flatten it a bit. Um, yeah, but this has gotten. Bent in the force. Hopefully the record is all right. Feels like it's 180 grams. So yeah, that's. Hmm. Yeah, the record has maybe gotten slightly warped on its journey here. So what I might do is I might and you shouldn't normally do this, but I might put something on top of it to try and uh, flatten it out but yeah otherwise this has been very nice condition it's the US bloody postal system doesn't take care of nothing it says literally vinyl record fragile what do they do it's fucking crushed in the post it's literally this is this is bent uh, beyond uh, belief oh. Luckily, the record itself has survived, and that all right. But yeah, now this vinyl record was released in 2015. But uh, currently, if you want to try and get it now, it's again an expensive bugger to get, especially here in the UK where uh, there was less copies of them because it wasn't as widely available. But here we go. So my favourite track on here is mm, probably a week a lot and Alive, probably then followed by Monster and Hero. So yeah, uh, got an interesting story about this one actually, the way I first heard about this album. Yeah, weirdly I first heard some of the songs because they were in a compilation of furry music. No, I'm not joking, that was how I first heard a couple of these tracks. And then obviously found the album and yeah. I do actually have a digital copy so I have listened to the full album before. I will say I think I prefer Victorious over this one out of the two albums that I currently own. I do plan to get more in the future. I've had a quick listen to a few of their other tracks but yeah, there, there we go. So this has finally arrived and you know, thank, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Um, I can kind of lit live with this um, in fact it's flattening out as we speak actually just literally just being out of there it is um, getting a lot flatter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a flat surface and put something well not heavy on top but just something to try and help it flatten out but yeah there we go okay so it's the 15th of July and uh, yeah got a package here from Urban Outfitters so yeah but this is Urban Outfitters US and it is uh, this <laughs> yeah yes uh, this is uh, Britney Spears in the zone I've never owned this album before 
Yeah, never owned it before, but the only reason I picked it up is because I pre-ordered uh, the Kesha uh, vinyls, and uh, I, th I saw this on sale, and I, and I thought, eh, might as well just add it to the cart. So I uh, did not pay sixteen dollars when I got it. I think it was on sale for seven dollars, or possibly nine dollars. But uh, yeah, I thought, eh, for that price, you know, which is about. Well, if it was nine dollars, it was probably about seven quid, and if it was seven dollars, then it would have been about a fiver. But honestly, not much more. Interesting that they shipped it separate, and I can't seem to get the cellophane off. There we go. So yeah, interesting that they they did that. a nice uh, sort of vibrant blue cassette so there we go and uh, let's have a look so the only songs I'm familiar with uh, from this album are ones that were included on the great six like uh, uh, toxic every time and yeah I think so I think that's it. It also says bonus remix me against the music. I should be showing this on camera, shouldn't I? There we are. Let's open it up. Now, those of you who may be thinking I'm a huge Britney Spears fan. If you've been watching my unboxings, I'm not actually. Uh, to be honest, um, there's a, I, there's only a few songs here and there that I do like. Uh, the reason I've got this and I've gotten a few other cassettes is because uh, she was one of the few artists um, releasing on cassettes that aren't as many artists, at least that I like, that are releasing their albums on cassette, and even less so in the UK. So, yeah, th th there we are, though. There we are, nonetheless. Alright, so it's the 18th of uh, July today. And, uh, yeah, got package uh, from... Uh, these bloody pull tabs. Look at this, look at this. This is why I like the plastic lined ones, because they come off a lot easier. <coughs> Okay. So, let's uh, make sure this is in focus. So, this is MGMT's first album, Ocular Spect Spectacular, and uh, this was seventeen ninety nine at um, World Trade. Now, the, now I've never ordered from them directly before, although I do have a couple of their exclusive uh, vinyls, but. For, bought through other retailers and the reason is, is because their delivery is very expensive this was four pound delivery which wasn't too excuse me it wasn't too bad but still you know for royal meal second class post it is not that expensive so yeah but in the past sometimes their delivery is being ridiculous like five six seven pound and unfortunately there isn't any uh, rogue trade uh, shops uh, near me in fact I think the only ones in the UK are all in London so yeah it's a shame because then I could have just had it delivered to the store for free but oh well so yeah this album came out way back in 2007 while wow, that looks a bit trippy looking directly into that let's have a look at this yeah this is heavyweight vinyl this is heavyweight vinyl, so that's quite nice. So, yeah. I wish it would say... It says A on one side, but it doesn't say B on the other. Or does this? Yes, it does, and but in very, very tiny print, which, yeah, is a bit irritating. But still, at least because of the label, it's obvious which side is which. God, I'm going cross-eyed looking at that. 
I don't think this one has the download code. No, it doesn't. I know there are some versions of this uh, that do, but uh, this one unfortunately doesn't. So, yeah. I'd say probably my favourite track. Mm, I don't know, it's either Kids or Electronic Feel. It's one of those two, but yeah. F even though I, you know, it cost me a uh, £22 total, or £21.99, it was still, you know, a pretty good price, and I couldn't really see it, find it cheaper anywhere else. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's the 20th of July today. And I've got this in the post. So here he is. So this is Hook, the 4K Blu-ray. Now this cost me £5.50 with a free delivery off of eBay. Now interestingly, this is not the UK version. No, this is not the UK version. I'm not sure where it's from. But it isn't the UK version, you can tell from the age rating. I'm sure someone will tell me exactly where that's from. But considering on the back... We've got different languages, uh, don't know, not sure where it's from, but this, unlike the UK version, and I think the US version as well, this only includes the 4K Blu-ray. It doesn't include the standard Blu-ray, but for 550, couldn't really care less, I could buy the standard Blu-ray for a couple of quid at most, so if I really wanted to and it does include all of uh, the special features that all two of them um, on the 4k disc as well so yeah not missing out on anything there so yeah really not much else uh, to say about that but yeah happy to finally have this in the collection and this is a true uh, 4k blu-ray I believe but uh, yeah, that, there we go, there we go, not really much else to say. Actually, what condition is the disc in? Yeah, pretty good. It's a very flimsy case, this. Very, very, very flimsy. Well, there we go. Okay, so it's the 28th of July today. And yeah, it's another package. It's from uh, Disogs again, so it's a vinyl record. Uh, this cost me... I think, let me get this right, I think it was £6 it cost me total, and ironically the, the postage was actually more expensive than the record itself, the record was only £2 but the postage um, was uh, £4, but it did come pretty quick. Anyway, so it comes in its own sleeve, so they supplied a sleeve with it, that's always nice. So this is the... 12 inch single of Tarzan Boy by uh, Baltimore. Now, there's a couple of different versions of this, including 7 inch versions and 12 inch versions. So, this one was basically the cheapest. There's a little bit of damage to it, but yeah, not too bad. So, uh, the reason there's a lot of different versions is this one has the summer version which was available as a 12 inch single on its own which I think is 6 minutes and 41 seconds long and is slightly different from the regular version there's then a 6 minute and 18 second uh, version which is just the full like extended version of the track this one also includes uh, the standard uh, 7 inch version which I think is 3 minutes and 41 seconds or something and also includes the club version so yeah so this has this has uh, most of the versions apart from the uh, extended regular version which is again 6 minutes and 18 seconds but that one was con a bit more expensive that one the cheapest I could find it was £10 so I decided exactly to go for this one, so yeah, there we go. Uh, let's have a look at the record itself. I will be putting the record on the sleeve. Ooh, right. So I can see a load of micro scratches on this. This is not uh, perfect condition. As long as it plays all right, it should be fine. It's very dusty as well. 
but as I said, as long, yeah. And that is the problem with these sleeves that these cardboard sleeves they do scratch the discs, which is why I will be putting an inner sleeve um, in it and also giving it a, a clean up as well before I play it. But um, yeah, uh, interesting little story about this one. The first time I ever heard this song uh, was actually in New Tricks. Yeah, if you watch New Tricks Series 5, Episode 3, uh, this song you can hear being played in the background. And actually, it's actually a plot point in the episode. Yeah, and there's actually a plot point in the episode because uh, there's a there is a character in that who refers to themselves as Tarzan Girl because Tarzan Boy is their favourite song. I won't say any more, but that, that's how I initially uh, heard this song. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so today is Saturday the 6th of August, and uh, this came yesterday. Now, I'm trying to figure out a way to open this. Because I don't want to cut what is inside. Oh, oh that was lucky. Because they've taped all of the edges. So it's difficult to get into. So that was lucky. I uh, didn't cut that. I'm going to have to do this just off camera just here. Um, just going to have to cut this because uh, this is a comic which is quite rare. So I'm going to have to. There we go. There we go. There we go. I was lucky when cutting across the top because they put the sellotape on all the corners and all the sides. So you'd have to cut the sellotape in order to get it off. But thankfully, I just thankfully managed to miss cutting it. So, yeah, this is uh, issue two of uh, the, Sly, the Adventures of Sly Cooper uh, comic. Which, uh, there's only two issues of it, actually. Yeah, these were done in a way to promote uh, the third game and also add a little bit of uh, backstory on what was happening in between the second and third game. And these are really, really rare now. Yeah, they are pretty rare now. Um, normally on eBay, in fact, if I get my example, so on eBay currently, The Adventures of Sly Cooper. So you can see just here some of uh, a couple of their listings there. Someone in America wants seven hundred and twenty-one pounds converted plus fifty pound postage. Someone actually in the UK wants two hundred and twenty-five pound which is uh, the cheapest you can get. However, how much could I pay for this? £6.20 plus £1.29 pool stage. Yep, so I essentially paid £7.50 for this. And uh, yeah, it is complete and it is in really good condition. It's just got a little uh, bent bit at the corner there, but otherwise in really good condition. I will be getting uh, a protector uh, for this but yeah otherwise nothing really else wrong with it it's in really nice condition now you can find this comic online you can find a digital copy of this very easy online which is where I initially read it so yeah I want to pick this up so yeah uh, I would like to someday try and find issue one but yeah this is very thin as well this is this is not this is very thin, cheap paper. That honestly, it it is very cheap. This, yeah, which is a shame because it's got really nice artwork uh, to it. So yeah, but other than that, you can see that it is in pretty damn good condition. 
four weeks and considering how much this comic is worth you know it's obvious that the person who was selling this didn't know what they had so they didn't know they had something that you know was worth a heck of a lot uh, more money but yeah uh, this will probably be the one and only time I look through it actually though um, because again I've got a digital copy of this so I'm not gonna uh, you know this is the only time I'm gonna actually flick through the physical thing and then it's just gonna be sealed away forever so yeah so until I do get something proper you know, uh, keep it safe in until then, until that day. The closest thing I've got to keep it safe in, which actually, hmm, it's not bad. I'll actually keep it in a vinyl sleeve. Yeah, so this is meant for obviously a 12 inch record, but at least now, you know, it'll be kept uh, out of the elements for now. So, yeah, but I'll have to find something nicer to put in. Oh, there we go. But yeah, there we go, there we go, but yeah, happy days, happy to have this in the collection. Obviously now uh, I have to try and find an issue one, so yay for that, but yeah, these are hard to find, especially in the UK. So yeah, there we go though. Okay, so it's the 10th of um, August today and got a package here and uh, which is going to be for work and really my work should have paid for this but there's been an argument saying that oh the work says it's the work coach's responsibility the work coach says it's the employer's responsibility going round and round and round till eventually I just thought oh, fuck it I'll buy it myself which I have, so yeah. Come on. So the thing that is in here cost me five hundred pounds. The fuck have they used to package it? Is that some bloody old clothes or something? Hang on. I think. Fuck of these. What the fuck is this? Is this? Oh, it is just a bag. Okay. I thought they used an old hoodie or something. Anyway, you can now clearly see what it is. So this cost me £500. And this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. And yeah. Now this one should be in pretty much perfect condition, um, apparently this was only bought 8 weeks ago and was only used once, so we'll see to that. Uh, but this is the 128GB model with 6GB of RAM. Now the 256GB model has 8GB of RAM. Not really bothered. CEX actually, interestingly, they... If you tr if I traded this in with CEX, they would sell the S Pen separately because that's what they do. You cannot buy this from CEX with the S Pen. You have to buy it separately, the cheeky bastards. Here's a tablet. Uh, get this out. Ah. does look pretty new and it still has the little uh, IMEI sticker on it but yeah that looks pretty much brand new that does look new I have ordered a case which hasn't obviously arrived yet but yeah we have the S Pen which will magnetizers to the back like that which I think is a bit stupid but hey ho at least it does come with it I'm looking at you uh, Surface Pro Apple Pencil where can I put this down there we go 
We get the charger, which I probably will I will not be using just because I've already got several. Uh, what's in here? Paperwork and some ejection tool for the micro SD card slot, and I think this will be. Yep. Uh, USB A to C charging cable. So that's basically it. So yeah. But at least it does come with a wall box. So that's nice. And it is a fast charging one. So hooray. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. So for years now, since. I've had the Tab S4 since it was first released and well basically you know you can definitely see a size difference the Tab S4 was 12.5 though this the Tab S4 does have one thing that this tablet doesn't have this tablet has a headphone jack this one doesn't which I've also ordered but yeah I'm uh, very happy to finally have this tablet so yeah also happy that they put the webcam here rather than there just because that makes it so much easier for calls and everything so yeah there we go okay so it's the afternoon of the same day and I've set everything up on the tablet and I'm just gonna say that oh god the focus because not is not fucking happy Yeah, the focus is not happy. <laughs> but yeah, this tablet um, has really loud speakers. Uh, so I'm just going to play a clip from one of my videos since I know I won't copyright myself. The cyber leader from below. Ryan, I don't like the odds of this. When I say run, run. Run! But it gets pretty Should damn loud. No, we have a more important task complete. We must revive our leader. And yeah, this screen is amazing. It is definitely amazing. And also the fact that it's also 120 hertz all the time is also great. It means it's really buttery smooth. Uh, but, you know, a lot of YouTubers will tell you, oh yeah, it makes a night and day difference. No, like to be honest, um, like for example, if I'm on a, a car journey or something like that, basically if I'm away from an outlet, I'll turn off the 120 hertz because there is an option to do that because uh, basically, you know, it's not like a night and day thing. It's like, oh yeah, it makes a... Maybe if you're, if you're gaming... I guess then it would make a difference or if you're browsing but you know for me when I'm taking this out places you know I'm just gonna be essentially you know just watching a load of videos and stuff like that but yeah something else I forgot to unbox the other day was uh, this so this is Tyo Cruz's uh, I think it's his first album Rock Rockstar my dad had this album and I remember him getting it, but he cannot find it anywhere, so uh, my granny actually um, bought me this fire from the pound shop uh, the other day. Now this is the regular version of the album, there is a deluxe um, version, but this is the original release with 11 tracks to it. Um, I think the deluxe has 16 tracks? I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, I will be ripping this to MP3 to put on my phone. There we go. Yeah, that CD looks uh, immaculate, brand new almost. The book looks... Hmm. Let's have a look in there. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, 
not really much to say on that, but yeah, happy to have it in the collection nonetheless. Okay, so it's the 11th of August today, and we've got a couple of packets. So this cost me £3, I think, I'll just go under that, and this is a USB-C to headphone jack with another USB-C for power adapter for my Tab S7 Plus. So yeah, now hopefully this does work because uh, not all USB-C headphone adapters are created equal, and some of them use the different pins for different things and this should be my case yep so this case cost me £9.95 total so let's get it out of the bag Spin that that way around. I like that this one has uh, three little notches. A lot of cases only have two, but this one has uh, three different notches for where to put the tablet. Speaking of which, let's put the tablet in. There we go. So let's see if it's, uh, yeah it does do the thing where it opens and it wakes it. And it even has a little spot on the back to pop on the S Pen. So yeah, there we go. And there we go, so yeah. And actually I'm curious to see whether it's, oh pop up anything if it recognises the headphone jack adapter. So, USB device is not supported. Hmm. Is it not? It's interesting. We'll just try both ways around. Right, so I might need to get a refund on that. So, yeah. But, anyway, there we go.